Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's target to finish this unmanaged wrap application. Because basic concept we have understood, we just need to call the APIs. For read we have to call for update, we have to call for delete, we have to call. We have called for the create and update, now we have to call for the delete and create by association and read by association for the booking entity. In this video, we will do the delete for our travel entity. And for the booking entity, we can't do directly create because it is linked to the our travel entity so we have to do the create by association because there is rigid relationship between the travel and booking it is defined through the composition one booking can't exist without the travel so we whenever we have to create the booking we have to create by association and whenever we have to read the booking we have to read by association apart from that we will do the update and delete also for the booking entity which will be performed on the object page of the booking entity so without wasting the time let's jump into the system and create update delete the booking entity we will start with the first delete operation to write the code in delete method so you have to control click on your delete in your behavior definition then it will take you to the delete method so it's already defined if you see the importing and exporting parameter of the delete method it is getting the importing parameter as entities and basically it knows not entities it is getting the keys if you see the keys it is having the travel id which you want to delete and apart from that if we have successfully deleted we have to send back the messages if we have we have something gone wrong then we have to fill in the failed and reported messages so i have already ready-made code again because i don't want to waste on the simple codes these are the loop uh, loop over that particular keys and calling that particular simple delete function module which is simply deleting the travel entity so without wasting the time just we quickly implement this delete operation and i will show you the what all are the methods will gonna tr trigger during the delete operations so you can see what we are doing since it is having only keys delete operation will send the only keys only so in this case we will be having the keys which you want to delete if you remember my old data series if you have watched already whenever we are doing the delete we don't send the payload payload we just send the uh, the key field which we want to delete so we are looping through those key fields and we will be having the travel id and we are calling this particular ready-made message called the uh, what we can say lt uh, demo flight travel delete and we are getting that uh, message back in lt messages and that same message we are mapping back to the travel and reported structure and since we are having the key field so here we here we are passing the travel id field so let me do control one on the lt messages because i didn't declare let me declare quickly this local variable and let me do control f3 it's a very simple code inside this travel delete what it is happening that also we will see for that what we will do we will put the breakpoint over here in the loop statement and we will go to the our behavior definition not behavior definition service binding and try to preview our application and see how the delete operation is happening and we will try to debug the delete as well and what all are the methods is called during the delete to see that we will put the breakpoint on the instance feature global control let me put on the create as well update as well read as well delete as well and lock as well lock is already we are having the breakpoint and let me put read by association create by association everywhere i will put the breakpoint so we'll get to know what all are the methods are calling during the our delete operations so let me open my service binding and just click on the preview button select root entity and click on the preview button so it will preview the application which is create enable till now okay one more thing we have to do in the projection layer we have to enable the delete operation then only we will be able to see 
So let me go to the my projection behavior F5. And that C travel take you. Let me enable the delete operation as well, which we didn't use till now. Let me do control F3. Create an update we did. Now we are doing the delete as well. Now let me refresh my application and click on again go button. I think now we will be having one more button apart from create and update edit button we will be having the delete button to enable the delete button okay it's triggering since we are reading the data it's che checking the authorization so it check the authorization we code the data from the database and we now we want to delete something so let me i instead of deleting some Latest travel entity. Let me delete some older one before going to that. Let me see there should be some. Let me remove the breakpoint from the global authorization. It is triggering every time. So let me do F8. It should have some travel booking and booking supplement as well. Oh, booking as well because booking supplement we didn't create it in this case. So we have travel and something we have multiple bookings yeah we have the multiple booking as well so we will select the 4134 and try to delete it you want to delete yes i want to delete it will trigger authorization already triggered update like the update operation uh, it will lock first and then delete so somebody else will be not able to update during your deletion time so this has happened during the update as well so lock operation also will be triggered during this time first it will lock and once as soon as it will lock it will trigger the delete operation in the delete operation as i told you we will be having the keys so in this keys you can see uh, we are having only one travel id 4134 based on this keys i will be gonna read uh, all, I will be gonna delete this particular travel ID inside this travel ID if you go in detail little bit what they are doing so delete travel they are calling the local class method delete travel F7 F5 inside the delete travel first it is reading for that particular travel ID what is the booking what is the booking supplement as well so this is the why they are reading they are reading because whenever they are deleting the travel they have to delete the booking and booking supplement as well because travel is a root entity and there is a tightly coupled relationship so that is the reason they have read through this travel id they have read the booking and booking supplement i'm not going to inside this method let me do f6 and as soon as they did this one first they are applying first they are deleting the booking supplement and as soon as that done then they are deleting the booking then at last they are deleting the using the cud operation which we have already discussed multiple time let me go through the travel one of the cud preparation step so in this one so if you see this one it is looping through the travel if it is the delete operation it is going in lt lt underscore delete and at last they are calling this method let me do f8 one time and if you see delete travel is having one entry if you go inside f5 basically they are checking the empty keys and finally they are deleting the lt underscore travel and they are selecting the data from the database also if it is not available uh, or you have read the partial data so check existent and append the delete buffer they are not deleting the data data from database but what they are doing they are adding that entry to empty delete buffer so if i go to here and finally F8. Finally, this data will be placed to the main buffer. This is the temporary buffer. And finally, when we when the save sequence will trigger, this delete data will be deleted from here. So you can go through the method, but it is very simple thing. I'm explaining again and again. So here they are doing the same method calling. They are placing the data from that temporary buffer to the main buffer for deleted entries. And once they put the data in the main buffer, then save sequence will be triggered. Let me do F8. Currently, I didn't put any breakpoint on the save sequence, but uh, there is some messages we can see. 
uh, message is blank not an issue let me remove the breakpoint from the message f7 so you can see the they have successfully deleted in the transactional buffer they have added that entry which needs to delete and after this method the same sequence will be triggered currently i don't have any breakpoint so basically it will go all five methods there and finally in the same method they will delete and commit work will happen and everything will be deleted if i do f8 so again that they are calling i have already breakpoint in adjust number so we have five finalized method then check before save the adjust number anyway uh, adjust number will be not triggering because we didn't do any create operation it will trigger but it will not do anything but uh, we don't we didn't do any create operation so that is the reason if you do app 6 uh, in the travel booking and booking supplement there will be no entry as we did in update operation and finally it will call the if i do app 8 it will call the save method it will take the data from main buffer and it will save update the data in the run uh, uh, database table and when the commit work will trigger it will update the data in the database and finally cleanup method will be called is useful so these are the sequence it's triggering and if you come here so object is deleted successfully so this is how delete is working let me go through quickly the sequence of the method of the delete operation as well it is almost similar to the update operation delete operation runtime is similar to the update operation runtime it's same way as soon as you click on delete button first it will check the global authorization then it will go to the global feature control then it will call the lock implementation if you have implemented we did lock implementation that is the reason the lock implementation got called and once the lock implementation got called it will if you are calling this particular bo through the o data service or front end fury to data service not using the eml statement then it will compare the e tag as well and before comparing the e tag it just read the data from the database and check the somebody else data changed or not and once the e tag comparison is done it will go to the this all the implementations like uh, pre check defined in the projection layer then if you have something defined pre check is defined in the our interface layer then after it will check the authorization instance of if you define some instance authorization and instance feature control as well it will check once everything is done everything is okay then it will go and trigger the delete operation inside the delete operation currently we have written the code in the modify method for delete so in this method it got triggered but in many scenario it is triggering through the manage framework and along with that in many scenario the determination or as well it will trigger but uh, in this case if we have to do some determination we will write the code in the modify method for delete itself once everything is done the response will receive in case of the if you trigger two eml statements then commit entities you have to write or rollback entities you have to write based on the output and once if you have trigger to odita service it will directly trigger the save sequence in eml statement if you have trigger then it will trigger the save sequence as well in the save sequence we have five methods those all five methods will be called one by one in the sequence and everything is went right then uh, the o data request what will say the deleted data it will get the request if it is deleted then it will display the message the data is successfully deleted so this is how the delete operation work it's almost not almost it is similar to the update operation only just i want to show you the sequence again so this is the sequence apart from one thing one or two things i can see that we don't have any augmentation call obviously we don't need augmentation uh, method in between in the delete operation those kind of things is not there which is not required otherwise it's similar to the update operation only now let's jump into the system create by association we will implement till now we have implemented the create update delete read operation for the our travel entity now i have to implement the create operation for the booking entity since travel and booking have composition relationship so when i can create booking whenever the travel available that is the reason i have to implement the booking creation as a create by association so that is the reason i have defined in my behavior definition 
so association to booking then with reference to travel i want to create this particular booking but not only that i have defined the feature control as well in this feature control this is also again instance feature control in this feature control i will gonna write code that i will create the booking when travel is not rejected or cancelled if it is rejected or cancelled i will not gonna do any booking you will not able to create any booking or booking creation button will be not enabled so that kind of feature control i want to do feature control in detail i have explained in my many scenario uh, for the theory part you can ref refer the many scenario here i am gonna directly implement this particular feature control that also i will not gonna write again line by line code because i have did that one in the many scenario so just i will copy this code control c and i will come to the my travel where i have already defined the gate instance features that already got defined because we have declared this particular feature control and then we created the class that is the reason it is automatically created what i have to do just i have to write the code that's it so in this one we are reading the data from the gi travel tech queue business object travel entity these two fields we are reading with corresponding to the keys keys we are getting in the our importing parameter and we will fill the result in the result set so here what we are doing we just read the data from this particular travel entity for this feature control should work when only if you implement the read operation if you didn't implement the read operation the feature control will not work because this read entity statement always read from transactional buffer not from the database so that is the reason the read operation is mandatory for the travel when you are writing any this feature control because we are reading here not only here if you are reading the travel from the outside the this particular business object in any program using the eml entity eml statement if read state read is not implemented then you will be not able to read the data from the transactional buffer here we are reading the data from the transactional buffer the travel id and status and once we read the data we are filling the result set so result is the table if you see the f2 over again in the result if you see the derived type again you can see what needs to fill i need to fill the travel id and this association to booking and again here i have to fill this two detail one is the uh, transactional key basically travel id only and second thing which feature control i currently i have only one feature control that is called the booking uh, i have to define one more feature control for the action also but i will see if i have time i will define otherwise actions i already have explained in my many scenario that you can refer so in this one uh, association booking so i want if uh, status is booked or if status is x then i am disabling otherwise i am enabling if it is already booked or if it is rejected then i am disabling this particular option to create by association otherwise i am enabling this particular option you can create this booking for that so that's how we are doing that's a simple code it's not much code so shift f1 i will do and control f3 i would have written line by line code again but it will gonna take time so let me put one breakpoint here as well so whenever it will trigger we will get to know next thing i have to create booking for that i have to implement the create by association method create by association obviously we required let me do f2 again so so in the create by association we are sending the data if you open that i thought why we are not getting the target data it came in my mind so here we are getting the data in the travel id and we are getting the data in in form of the target what all are the uh, booking you have created uh, for since this booking is new so cid will be filled and the travel id other detail and control structure also will be filled based on the data so this data we will be uh, getting from the front end and based on that we have to create the booking in the system so let me click on create by booking so we have only importing one importing parameter but we have the 
mapped field a field for if something goes wrong mapped if once you create the booking you have to map the data back to in the mapped structure and the reported uh, to send back the messages to the front end so these are the four uh, interface parameter we have so let me go to the create by association booking again i will not gonna write the code because it's taking too much time just i will go it's a very simple code is there which we have we have written multiple times same kind of code so let me copy this code it's a little bit bigger but it's nothing much is there so let me copy this one and i will explain so as i told you we are just calling we are looping through the create by shift f1 let me do we are looping through the create by association entities in this case if you see the create by ent association entities only we are having the travel detail and in the target we which booking you are creating that booking detail you will be having in this one so that is the reason i have to see first for this travel what all are the booking already created then i will create the next booking because i need the what is the next booking number should be generated that number i want to generate so that is the reason i have read this particular travel again using this travel id and booking all data i have already read if something goes wrong we are calling the map messages this we have already implemented we are mapping the failed and reported structure accordingly if something goes wrong if something goes wrong let me comment as of now this particular method we have to fill the error messages in the target as well that will do later point of time but if something if everything is okay so what we are doing we are getting the from this booking old which we have read here we have read here what we are doing we are reading the data back and we are checking the last booking id which is already available in the system or in the transactional buffer we can say because this basically this read operation is happening in the transactional buffer only on when you see in this read operation they are reading from the database as well and they are reading from the transactional buffer as well from the buffer table also and based on that they are reading the uh, ret returning this particular booking id uh, booking old table and i what i did the lines of this particular booking id i got so if i have maximum line five numbers five lines are already there then i am for the fifth line what is the booking id i am reading and i am getting the last booking id i put the optional if something read got failed it should not dump that is the reason i if there is no booking id no need to worry i will create new booking so that is the reason this i put as a optional then what i did since we in this particular create by association apart from that uh, travel id we have the target also i the target is the basically the table of the associated booking so i have to look through this target and i have to see the uh, how, which booking uh, user have created and i have to create this booking in the system and in case of eml that can uh, the eml whoever the user writing the program they can create the multiple booking also so in that way i have to implement so in that is the reason i have to look through this particular again this target uh, travel is the work area and i have to look through this target and booking create which is newly created booking i will loop through one by one and i will get the booking data basically using control so what all are the data user passed or user have changed those data i will be getting in the booking work area once i got this particular booking data i will update the booking id but because booking id will be not come as part of this this one only the cid will come since we are creating the booking newly the cid data will be there as i told you cid why we use percentage cid until and unless your key field is not available till that point that point of time this particular cid will be used as a your key field so that is the reason as of now key fields are not there so i have generated this particular last booking id i have added one and i have passed in this booking id that particular booking id so particular suppose we have already five bookings created now sixth booking i, I will create here then this is the method we are using to create the travel in this one we are passing the travel data also and we are passing the booking for this particular travel what booking i have to create to respective booking data which we have read the data along with the travel id that i have passed here and what all are the data we have changed that uh, change data control structure also we are passing here so this method we will debug and see what all are the things it is doing but basically it is creating the booking in the system and once everything is okay we are getting the message and as of now let me comment this also control shift less than 
दिस इज अगेन द मैसेज मैथड विच वी हैव क्रिएटेड फॉर द बुकिंग एसोसिएशन वाई वी हैव क्रिएटेड न्यूली दैट ऑल्सो आई विल एक्सप्लेन एंड इफ समथिंग गोज रॉन्ग एवरीथिंग इज ओके देन वी आर इंसर्टिंग बैक एंड वी आर फिलिंग द मैप टू टेबल अदरवाइज वी हैव ऑलरेडी वी हैव टू फिल दिस बुकिंग फेल्ड एंड रिपोर्टेड टेबल नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दिस पर्टिकुलर मैप मैसेज टू बुकिंग वी ऑलरेडी हैव वन मैपिंग मैसेज वेर वी आर पासिंग द सी आई डी डेटा ट्रेवल आई डी डेटा फॉर द ट्रेवल वी ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड वन मैप मैसेज मैथड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्लास ओनली इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्लास फॉर द ट्रेवल इन दैट वाट वी आर डूइंग इफ समथिंग गोज रॉन्ग दैन वी आर देन वी आर पासिंग दिस ऑल द मैसेज वी आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर ए पी आई एंड बेस्ट ऑन दिस मैसेज वी आर फिलिंग द फेल्ड एंड रिपोर्टेड स्ट्रक्चर बट इन केस ऑफ द एसोसिएशन वी हैव टू फिल्ड वन एक्स्ट्रा पैरामीटर वेन वी आर डूइंग क्रिएट बाई एसोसिएशन और रीड बाई एसोसिएशन देन वी हैव टू फिल वन एक्स्ट्रा पैरामीटर कॉल इज डिपेंडेंट इफ सम मैसेज इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन द योर बुकिंग वेन यू आर पासिंग सम मैसेज फ्रॉम द चाइल्ड एंटिटी एंड इट इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन ट्रेवल देन वी हैव टू पास वन फ्लैग कॉल द इज डिपेंडेंट ड्यू टू दैट आई हैव टू क्रिएट और वी हैव टू क्रिएट वन अनदर मैसेज अदर थिंग्स आर all similar just we have added this is dependent one extra and in this case we don't need failed edit because we are using for only for the create operation this particular local uh, what we can say local method that is the reason we don't need failed edit apart from everything i will be needing so what i have to do so i have to implement this particular message and this is the almost similar to this map message i will show you as well so for that also i have again code So I don't want to for this one. This is the structure. Control C and Control V. Too much code. So that is the reason. If I write line by line, uh, this will not complete complete in six seven videos. Also, that is the reason. So in this case, you can see uh, we have everything is same. Uh, only one parameter is extra is dependent. Apart from C I D, travel I D, and message we are having. Uh, travel ID in this case we don't need, but we need CID because we are creating for booking. So booking at that time the travel ID already not generated, only CID will be available. So CID and message we will be needing, and this failed ID is we are sending back and we are filling this failed and reported structure. Let me do the implementation for that. Control one, aid implementation for map message booking. So it will aid it. The last and we have to write the almost same code. This code only. Uh, i have already written the code again why i have to copy but what is the difference i will tell you control c almost similar code code whatever we have written so previously what we was doing we was we were doing we were looping through messages if messages type error and a then we fill the failed uh, using this particular uh, we pass the cid and travel id and we pass the fail code also using the auxiliary class that i have explained in my previous videos and we fill the reported structure based on this message table whatever the data we passing we are creating the message using the new message object this is the new message method is coming from the supermost class so this will this method what it do it basically generate the object out of this parameter and it will send back and this will be used for the sending for the front end so this is this same thing i have did here only the one thing we have to make sure because it's a uh, created only for the create scenario so that is the reason cid is mandatory if you are not passing cid uh, we will dump and otherwise uh, initially failed above uh, failed it is above false and if something goes wrong we will uh, again we will pass the value as x so uh, we will pass that result back to the interface so again we are looping through messages if it is error and uh, a type then type what we will do we will pass the cid we will be having the cid we are creating again from the same auxiliary class that fail cause and we fill the failed structure and we have flag this particular variable and we fill the reported so everything is same apart from this field whenever we are sending back the fail cause we have to send this particular is dependent as well because this message is read for raised from the child entity so that is the reason we have to make sure whenever you have dependent entity child entity from that you, there you are sending the message back to the parent then you have to make sure is dependent equal to uh, you have to pass as a x then it will display the appropriate error message in the front end so this is the 
important thing that is the reason only for this reason we created this uh, map message association otherwise not required so let me go back where we are calling this one till now we didn't call not an issue create by association i have to go again create by association booking so in this case you can see we have to uncomment now this code now this is available this message we just the if something goes wrong in the when we are reading the data uh, from the travel uh, to get the old booking so we not only we have to fill this particular uh, messages from the travel we have to fill these messages from the uh, associated booking as well so that we have to make sure so in this case failed booking what is the error we are getting we are getting this one second it's not type compatible so i have to remove this demo again gi booking underscore our booking entity tech underscore u so that is the again thing and same we have to do for gi underscore booking control c control c control v now we will not uh, control z control c and control v okay so that is the how we will not get the any error so this is how we not get the any error and you can see uh, map message association now working fine control f3 and let me come down here and let me put one breakpoint as well both the places i think i have explained each and everything and here also we have to uncomment this thing because something goes wrong uh, we have to map message back shift f1 and control f3 I have put the breakpoint here. Let me put one breakpoint in feature control as well, which is already there. And let me again do this create by association as well. So let me go to that uh, service binding and let me create one booking to so preview. Okay, let me close this previous preview. Let me again refresh the application. Okay, let me click on go button this time we don't have any breakpoint on the authorization check that is the reason we are not getting any issue it's not triggering again and again let me click on edit button or you can see in this case this is planned uh, we are not getting any create button as of now one second why we are not getting create button let me click on planned not got create button new here also we are not getting the create button let me see if I have activated my behavior definition. No need to activate. Obviously, you didn't do this thing in the your projection layer. So you have to do in the projection layer as well. So I have to uncomment this create by association. Control shift data then. And let me and we have to define. You can see the behavior must be defined for this particular target entity. Now we have to define the, the behavior for this particular target entity as well. And we have to uncomment this one as well association to the travel like that we have to write give me one second okay now i am getting the error e take also we have to use for this one as well control c okay let me uncomment this one again let me do this one and we have to use the e take for this as well control v and shift f1 and control f3 now it will work let me refresh the application again i thought why the create by association is not coming even it is planned let it refresh checking time okay breakpoint got triggered now in this case i think we have breakpoint on the feature control that got triggered now what it is doing it is reading the entities from the uh, what uh, from this particular travel tech queue if i do f5 here it will call the read method because it's reading the data from the transactional buffer so that is the reason i i was saying if you want to use the feature control and you are using the read operation in the feature control which is reading from the transactional buffer you have to make sure that you you have to make sure that your read method is implemented already so let me, it is reading basically data from this one let me do f7 f7 and in this case i it read the data 
and it got filled in the travel read result. So basically it read the data for this particular travel ID and uh, 005 uh, which is currently okay so in this case there is multiple keys are there let me see what all are the keys we are getting here as part of this one so in this case it, it is got for the travel id 5 and since uh, it, it want to check for this travel id uh, we open this travel id it want to check that it is booked or not based on that it want to give the uh, we can create the booking for this one or not so in this case if you see the result in the result data travel result status booking status is n so in this case i think we can create the booking because it is new so let me do f6 and if you do f8 now then this particular create button is enabled for this one if it is rejected or completely booked then it will be not enabled here so now let me create new booking from this screen so let me create new booking so i have to fill all the data booking date let me fill tomorrow's date customer id i can fill any customer id airline id if i fill airline id based on that uh, automatic the flight number flight date and flight flies quote populated based on the search help let me click on the create button and this time uh, what it will do since uh, we are creating the booking it will try to log the data for this particular entire bo so how logs work i already explained in my manage scenario so whenever even you are something editing in the booking or booking supplement the entire business object will be logged so related travel what all are the entities are there everything will get logged so that we have to make sure it should happen and we have to write code accordingly in this whenever we are locking the data so the entire travel id will be logged here so after the log let me do f8 so again it is getting the instance feature control and then read operation is happening because we are doing the instance feature control and once it is done if i do f8 it call the create by association create by association for booking if you see this entity is created by association in this case you have the travel id and you have the target structure field in this you have one entity which you are going to create if you double click over here so in this case you have the travel id but in this case since booking id is not available you have the cid reference code field here because you are creating the booking until and unless this particular booking id is not available till that time you have to use this particular cid reference field and other data whatever you have filled on the front end everything is available so if you do see f6 again for this travel id i am reading the old booking data so if you double click on booking old so there is already two lines are there for this particular travel id booking id 1 and booking id 2 now I, now I have to create the booking id 3 so that is the reason i have read the data from the old travel id and map messages uh, if in case you have some error it will map but in this case we don't have any error so no need to worry if failed added equal to true and we have to do this thing if something goes wrong during the read not only we have to fill the messages from the map we have to fill those messages from the to the uh, relevant booking entity as well so that is the reason uh, we have to pass the dependent as well but in this case there is no error so no need to worry in the else part we are getting the last booking id so app 6 that will be the 002 now next booking id we have to create the 003 that is the reason we got the last booking id now i am looping through this target basically which is having this target data one by one all the entries and in this case we got the booking create uh, we got the data uh, we are mapping the data from the booking entity also we have the mapping defined and using the control we are defined whichever the data really got changed those only will be passed to this booking so if you double click on this booking structure uh, this is particular structure the all the data is there apart from the booking id travel id other data is everything is available now i will pass the booking id which i know basically from the last booking id i have added one and i have passed 003 instead of 002 now i will call this particular travel update in this case i am calling the travel update method because i am updating the travel travel booking is a part of the travel travel is already created now i am updating the one extra booking there so that is the reason this is the already interface is there whenever i have to do i have to pass the travel id data because i i didn't change actual travel data but i changed I, since i'm changing the booking i have to pass the travel id at least 
in this particular table structure and the booking data we have to pass the booking id and what operation you uh, booking id everything and whatever the booking id and what operation you are doing action code you have to pass in the booking in the travel action uh, travel id travel x i didn't pass any action so nothing will happen but in the booking i pass the action code as a create so it will create one booking so inside this if you go that uh, it is basically updating the travel and creating the new booking if i go inside detail bit i will not explain each and every line but i will just want to show how the update travel is happening so in this case they are calling the cl flight legacy get instance and update travel they are calling let me do f5 let me do f7 it will call the update travel method inside the update travel what they will do they will check first that travel id should be available since you are do, updating the travel and if you change something uh, in the action code ls travel x the action code is update and if you change something here cud preparation here you are passing the uh, create uh, cud operation you are passing the travel x data but in the in this if you go inside since you didn't have uh, if you i will it'll go inside f5 other travel data so it will it will check it travel is not initial it have some data but if it will try to read the data and it will fill the data in that update operation but during the update what will happen you didn't pass any update flag so that is the reason it will not update anything so if you see the idt travel x there is nothing got updated apart from the travel id nothing got updated so that is the reason this update for travel will not work let me do f7 and f7 where i was okay i'm have already a lot of breakpoints that is the reason it is triggering so once we got this particular cud operation for travel which is not happening actually we are getting the again all the travel data because uh, in the delete scenario they have to delete the everything that will also that already have explained so that is the reason they are getting the delete data if everything is message in this case this booking scenario is running they are getting the booking data and they are updating the booking and if you have booking supplement scenario this is same the booking supplement code will run and they will update the booking supplement data in the buffer in the temporary buffer they will update all the data in the temporary buffer and finally at last year from the temporary buffer they will take up the data and they will put in the main buffer so this is happening and from the main buffer in the save sequence save sequence from the main buffer it will take the data and it will update in the table so you can go through this code it's very easy so i don't want to explain this all the code again and again let me do f7 let me remove this delete from the delete this breakpoint f7 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 so like that uh, we came to the our uh, demos determinations it's fine f7 f7 so okay everything is ran let me do this we came out from this function function module we got some ma messages we didn't get any messages so we can see the travel data booking data whichever we are creating that code automatically updated in the buffer table booking buffer table so now from when the save sequence will trigger then the booking data will be picked from those buffer table and it will be updated in the database so let let me do app 7 here oh i did app 7 I would have not done F7. Basically, we didn't get any error message, so it will not run this error message, but it will fill this particular fail data in the map booking. If you open this map booking, so you already the booking is created with this ID 003. So we have mapped the data back. And if I do F8, it will trigger the save sequence. And it will uh, it in this case, since the uh, booking got filled, if you do F6 here lt booking will be having one line in travel we don't have any that data and booking supplement we don't have any data but booking have we created new booking so that is the reason booking map mapping have data in the adjust number they will map the booking number so from here the number will be picked and it will be shown to the front end that newly created booking number let me do f8 it will call the save method basically it will pick up if you go inside f5 i just want to show you how they are picking the data again back from the uh, buffer and filling to the main database table so if you see in this case uh, we didn't have any travel data if you go inside in travel as well f7 
you can see the classes local each have local classes local travel class local booking class and book, local booking supplement class this is the part of the main cl flight legacy table so if you do apply local travel class now so currently we don't have any data in the create buffer also in the create anything data is not there for the travel we have data in the update uh, delete empty delete we don't have but empty update we have data but inside this let me see f6 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 so you can see empty update buffer we have data let me open this empty update buffer we have the travel id so they will try to update the same uh, travel id data because we read the uh, we have did some operation on this particular travel so that is the reason they're just making sure and updating if you do f8 or it will go in booking and it will create newly created booking via the booking local class method and finally it will clear from the here all the all the buffer and it will save the data in the database and if you do f8 so booking is successfully created i just explain i'm just explaining the data i have to refresh the data uh, because we are debugging longer time that is the reason it is not given the result quickly so if you refresh the data you can see the third booking as well okay again it is f8 reading the data because the feature control is there let me remove f8 now it got terminated so you can see the data is there for this booking third so if you come back you can see the now third booking as well first booking second booking and third booking just now we have created so this is how create by association works now just see during the create by association operation what all are the methods are triggering and it's almost similar to the update and delete operation it will check the authorize authorization it will call the get authorization method global authorization then if you define any global feature control that will be called after that if you did some lock implementation that lock will happen because you are doing the create by association as i told you in my lock video as well it will lock entire bo when you are writing the code you have to make sure not only you have to lock the travel entity you have to lock the booking entity if it is doing the separate separately you have to define but framework lock always lock the entire bo in my case i didn't implement it i am locking only the travel table ideally i have to lock the booking and booking supplement table as well in that way i have to implement my lock so that you have to make sure whenever you are updating the create by association so entire bo should, should be locked so for that particular travel what all are the bookings what all are the booking supplements that entire travel should be locked nobody able to create the booking and booking supplement as well for that particular travel if you lock that particular travel so that lock implementation needs to be done and in a managed scenario it done by the framework no need to worry and if you have e-take so obviously you have to define the method for read and then the e-take comparison will be there uh, trigger the in, in the managed scenario it will be the compare the compared by the framework in unmanaged scenario only during the data com consumption it's it will be read in unmanaged scenario and then the e-take comparison will be done if something goes wrong it will fail and next step the pre-checks will be have happen augmentation from the projection layer will be called uh, these are all are these two from the projection layer then the interface layer if you have something pre-checks defined that will be called if you have instance level authorization that will be called and if you have instance feature in our case we have the instance feature control we have defined that will be called and after that the create by association will trigger and it will call the method for create by association in many scenario and many scenario it will be handled by the framework in many scenario you can do the along with this determination on modify during the transactional phase whatever the de determination will be which defined during the many scenario that will be called these all things are happening almost similar way how it happened in the update and delete and the last thing the commit will happen in case of email statement and all data service will be triggered in in that case that save sequence will be triggered all five method will be triggered data will be saved to the database and get back the data from the database and finally it will be displayed on the ui this is how it is happening 
in the in our current scenario now let's jump again in the system let's implement read by association but read by association will be not called during the our transactional during our fury application at all but we have to implement if you want to give the proper view because somebody calling this particular business object from the out of the uh, it's not calling through the fury application but it is calling through the eml statement and it is trying to read the data from the booking to the travel then he should able to read the data from the transactional buffer so that is the reason we need to implement otherwise uh, during the interaction phase from the fury it never called read by association operation i just quickly implement no need to worry and let's jump into the system and implement that as well read by association is just about the create by association method is there just we need to implement as i told you even you update the booking that time also or when you are reading the data from the booking it is always reading from the database and read by association will be not called in any case you can see i put break point i did the booking update it didn't call let me copy the code in this case and uh, control c and control v the track one so it's a very simple code there is nothing thus we are in read by association case if you do have to it send the keys which you want to read because you have the already data from the database you read and from that out of that you will read the get the keys and based on those keys you will read the data from the transactional buffer if you want the result set then you have to pass this result requested equal to x and the then we will in that case only we will pass the result back in this result parameter and associated link we have to pass because this is the read by association so we have to pass what is the link between the travel and booking that link we need to pass here if you see open what is the travel id and for that travel id what is the booking id that needs to be passed and in the read by association you will get only the travel ids for those travel ids you have to read the booking and booking supplement as well in if you have that three layer of the architecture then in that case so you have to read all the three things using the this travel id from the transactional buffer that is very important and that's it and failed and reported structure obviously you have to fill so these are the interface you have to do so we are looping through the create read by association uh, using my group by the travel id if you are passing the multiple travel id then in that case you have to group by travel id we are using loop at group by we are using and uh, we read the data from the using the travel id we code the trader tra travel detail we code the booking detail in this case but if you have booking supplement you have to get that booking supplement as well and if something goes wrong we are get mapping that map message failed and reported structure and if failed is added then if it is not uh, added means you are successfully read the data in that case i will be mapping back the data to the result result and the associated link in the associated link i have to pass the uh, travel id and the booking id what is the relationship between them that relation i have to pass in the result i have to just pass the booking if you see the re result type you have the booking type and if you see the associated link type you have to pass the they, these are the components the source is this one in the source you have to pass the travel id and in target you have to pass the travel id and the booking id both so that is the reason source we are passing the travel id and the target we have transactional key have only one field as of now travel id and in the target tky we are passing target tky means for booking we have the this is for the travel and this is the booking booking have two primary key one is the travel id and booking id that is the reason we have passed this in the associated link we are inserting that entry and if result is requested in that case only we are passing the result back for booking whatever we read that data we are passing back to the this result data this is same type of booking this is simple code nothing much is there read by association and we can activate this as well and once we have this associated link uh, they are uh, putting the data in the descending order and if they are comparing with the all the fields if you have duplicate data somebody asks then deleting those data and then only they are sending that that's it normal method implementation only there so let me activate this one
Fortunately, I found the class which we have practiced for the read operations. So I have written this code to read our entity gi travel take underscore u. I just now realized when we have given the root entity name, I have given travel instead of vel, val I have given instead of vel. So that again, it was my mistake. That's okay. But uh, read entity of this travel by association I am doing and I want to read only these fields. I am passing the travel ID. I want to read any travel ID you can pass and result data and link data and fail data I want to get in this one. And I want to display the result data in this one. We have used this interface OEDT class run. If you are working in BTP or you are working in the latest version on premise as well, you can use this uh, interface to display your result in console. To display the result in console, you have to do F9. I put the already breakpoint on the read by association method and here as well one breakpoint is there let me do f9 so as soon as you can see if i do f9 it call the read by association method and basically it will read from the if you see the key rba uh, we have already one entry is there in this table but i can't see the table data let me increase little bit here or decrease little bit here columns I can see but I can't see the table data but no need to worry you can see the data here we have only one data uh, you can see PID travel ID is 2 PID is blank obviously PID will be available for the late numbering scenario until your travel ID is not available till that point of time PID should be considered so when you call the EML BO in in your EML means when you are writing the read uh, create operation update operation with a lot of operation together that time you will be not having any PID number uh, to, until the travel ID is not created you are creating then you are updating and deleting the same instance then you have to refer the PID as a like we are using the uh, CID reference uh, CID in same way PID we have the primary key field in late save sequence uh, we can say and we will use until the travel ID is not available they use the PID as a reference but in case the travel ID is already available no need to worry they use directly tra travel ID number just to say I repeated the same thing multiple times F5 it is reading the data uh, we got the data uh, we got the data in the travel out and booking out as well and you can see travel out we have one entry booking out let me close it out travel out this is the structure again Yes, we have the one entry and booking we have multiple entries so you can see two entries we have. If it get failed, we will be mapping the message table with failed and reported structure but it's not get failed. We are sending back the data associated link and the result in this one. So if you see F6, F6, if you see the associated link table, again you have the data, travel ID and booking ID along with the, you have the source in this and you have target you open the shores this is a structure inside this shores you have the travel id if you open the target you will be having the for this shores the target is the this booking id there will be the multiple targets uh, one is this one link one and in another loop you will get the second target so like that we have filled the result set also and if you come if you do f8 uh, so at the end we came at the end of the method if you do one more time f8 it came here and if you see the read data you have the travel id for this travel id these two are the booking ids and you have read successfully and this read perform on the transactional buffer so when you initialize this read entity first time it will read from the database and when you call the read entity that time it will read from the transactional buffer first it loaded to the from the database it loaded to the transactional buffer and that this read is performed on the transactional buffer that is very important thing for you guys even you are doing here modify statement that will happen on the transactional buffer. The data will be never persisted until you will write the commit entities that I have already explained in the commit uh, statement and you can do F8 and the data is displayed in the console you can see. You can uh, see that it got displayed. I have I forgot to clear the console so I cleared one time. I already one time practiced before showing you guys and this time you can see data is displayed successfully. So this way the read by association also working as I told you in current UI scenario read by association is not triggering anywhere. So that is the reason we have tested in this way.
now what we will do let me go to the my uh, behavior definition what is pending create done update done delete done read by association also done everything is done but in the booking the update and delete is still pending let's quickly write the code much code not is not there it's a very simple code again we can write the update and delete i already have the code that is for the control c control v so basically if you see the update method interface method interface it will get the entities which got modified if you go for the derived type it will be having the cid reference field pid and travel detail travel id booking id means booking detail basically because you are modifying directly booking uh, booking data without referring the travel so we directly click on object page you are clicking on edit and you are modifying the booking data so whatever modification done that will come in the control structure and the this structure will be filled entire data in entities we are looping through this data we got the data shift f1 let me do so we got the data uh, one we are mapping from this booking to this booking because both the structure are same because we have defined the mapping so we are doing the mapping like we did in travel uh, what all are the field score chains we are taking in the booking x and here we are up, updating the booking id in this case in travel case we updated the travel id and action code in this case update we are giving the update and those two structure we passed here along with our travel id and we call the same method flight travel update it will update basically the along with the travel it will update the booking and booking supplement data based on the parameter whatever you have passed in this case also we have the map message again we have to implement the map message for our booking also this time we have to pass two key fields one is the travel id also and booking id also uh, cid reference obviously you have to pass in case of the create scenario so that should be valid and failed uh, in this case we have something goes wrong we are filling back the failed and reported structure so we have to implement this map message as well in the booking entity as well so that we can do so for that i have already written the code you can see this is the code control c we have to define this one map messages in booking class as well so let me define this one control v this is booking class i'm doing all this thing in the booking related entity related code in the booking class so we have defined the map messages let me do control one and implement this one implementation done and i have ready made code also for map messages it's very simple like we did in the create travel is uh, in the travel it same code we have to write in the booking as well taking time no need to worry control v so you can see if we are setting the flag first as a plans then looping through the messages if it is e and a we are appending to the field and same thing we use the auxiliary class here as well so that is the advantage of auxiliary class so we can call in the travel as well in the booking as well uh, so that is the advantage actually so whatever you have to do in multiple entity commonly that you have to do in the auxiliary class some method or something you are doing commonly in multiple classes of your particular book bo those you have to write in the auxiliary class so that is the reason we are using the auxiliary class for the getting the course like we did in travel and here uh, appending the reported structure same code we have written whatever we have written in the uh, travel but here we have two things one is the travel id as well and one we have booking id as well so this we have to write control f3 you can do and we are mapping back the messages and that's how we did the update operation we will see in front end i will quickly do the delete operation as well there also not much code uh, again one call only let me Right, this delete also Up, update is done. Travel update is done. I want to delete now. So here we are passing the flag as a delete. So this is the delete code. That is correct code. So in this case, control V will do. We are looping through the keys. In this case, we will be not having data. We will be having the keys only. So you can see action code. I am passing delete. So here I pass the action code as a update. We are calling the same method demo flight travel update here also and here also demo try. But here we are passing action code delete. There we have passed action code as a update. So that is the only difference apart from that other fields are same and we are deleting and once we get some error we are getting that message.
except f1 and control f3 we are using reusing the existing apis that's it nothing else so create is done update is done let me put breakpoint both the places and quickly test this one okay let me activate first control f3 activation is progress let me put breakpoint why the breakpoint i am not able to put the breakpoint i think i have a lot of breakpoints i have to remove those all breakpoints and then only i will be able to put the breakpoints okay okay let me remove some of the breakpoints and let me what i will do breakpoints you can go to debug perspective and delete all so like that you can do remove everything whatever the breakpoints are there you have removed and let me go to a back perspective again and now let me put breakpoint okay still i am not able to put there is some issue no issue shift f1 let me do control f3 and close others let me check again there is some issue i am not able to put the breakpoint let that no no need to worry uh, i will just uh, run the application in front and and see how it is work, working before that what i have to do i have to enable these operation in my projection as well currently it is enable in my interface level so i have to uh, i have to enable these operation in my projection as well let me open the projection and enable this both operation with that uh, we did all the implementation successfully let me do control f3 and you click on control click it will take you to the update operation you see it we came to update let me put breakpoint one more time you cannot create the breakpoint at this position why i cannot create control f3 there is some issue i did change in the update only okay there is some issue uh, i will see why i can't create but let me test my application meanwhile it is it working or not let me select this one preview we close other tapes it opens successfully let me click on go button go to my booking i want to check now booking update and delete so let me click on edit button and change something suppose i have changed the booking date let me change to 6 to 7 and click on save button oh data request processing abnormally terminated let me see the what is the issue to see the issue let me put the breakpoint everywhere uh, i know what is the issue <laughs> just now i get to know uh, so let me put the breakpoint again uh, in the loop as well now i have restarted eclipse because i was not able to put the breakpoint so i put on the delete as well let me put on the read as well and read travel as well and map message it is fine and let me now again or oh, let me open this one okay uh, where is my behavior definition and where is my projection view so to see the there is the relationship explorer it will help you to nav navigate from one object to another object if you are working with the standard for example this is the interface view i want to find out the consumption view you can come here and what you can do you can do uh, you can click on the using object and you can see the consumption object so you can click on consumption view and from here you can navigate to the your uh, service as well to find out the service you can do the control shift z for your consumption view control shift z and you will get to know which service it is using and once you will find out the service what all are the services which is, which is consuming this consumption view so i can see uh, z travel take you you can open the service once you open the service again you have to go to the uh, relationship explorer you can see the service binding as well you just double click on the service binding and you will get to know what is the service binding and you can select and click me on again on preview button i restarted my clips i restarted my browser as well because uh, i thought there is some case but that that is not the case uh, let me select again let me go to the booking 
let me click on edit button again let me change this date, date to 6 to 7 and click on save button i hope so breakpoint should trigger i'm getting the dump but breakpoint somehow it is not triggering but i know what is the uh, i can debug from here i will be able to debug if i click on the debug button it will bring me i just want to show you what screen i am getting if you see here in the corner i am getting this particular right bottom corner this one you have to click on debug you will be able to debug the things so here i can get to know that i got the sort dump so why i got the sub sort dump i have to analyze from here so as per my understanding we uh, use the e take i just now realize we use the e take we are doing the update operation but it is not uh, what it is not happening it is we didn't implement it the read operation to match back the things so that might be the issue but i'm not sure that is the only issue so let me see so for that i have to debug obviously uh, let me do f8 again and let me try out again one more time uh, to change the values and let me click on 8 and let me click on save i'm not getting the let me refresh the data I want to get in debugger and click on edit button again let me change again to 7 click on save button the debugger is not triggering for me, for me let me do one more thing I put the breakpoint again uh, properly in all the methods and let me click on save button now Somehow the breakpoint was not triggering previously. Now the breakpoint is triggering. I restarted Eclipse basically. So you can see get global authorization F8. Lock method is triggering to locking that uh, entire BO. Let me do F8. The important thing is that this time it is read by association travel is triggering. Why it is triggering this read by association travel to lock the uh, what to read the associated travel along with the booking so they can compare e-take value currently our e-take value we can take we have when you open that uh, behavior definition uh, let me open the back perspective give me one second and if you open the behavior uh, definition in your bi then you, you told e-take dependent by travel so that is the reason it is reading the uh, your travel information so what was the e-take of the travel so that now we have to read the uh, read by association by travel and if you implement that then only it will work otherwise you will get the dump obviously so let's quickly implement the read by association as well and we will see what it is happening let me switch to the debug perspective let me click again the current entity since i didn't implement it the read by association travel I, I know that was the I was knowing that was the issue I just want to show you the guys that is the reason I debugged let me do F8 and now we are getting the dump obviously the dump is not resolved yet so let's quickly implement this read by association as well so let me I have already ready meant code again uh, let me open this one I thought we have to implement read first but no in this case we have to implement read by association if it is the e-take is not dependent by your uh, uh, dependent by your root entity then you can use e-take field as well like you have used e-take master as well for this particular entity in that case it will read the that current entity only but in this case it is dependent by your travel so it will read the your travel entity read by association will happen in booking and it will read the travel data so let me go to the class of booking get bp booking and implement this method so basically what it is doing again uh, if you do f2 over here i just quickly explain this one as well uh, we have the keys read by association and we have the travel id booking id is a in this particular all the travel and booking and if you see the control structure we have the travel structure control structure here because we are reading by association in this case so in this case apart from this we have the result if you want to result get or you just want to get the association link between the travel and booking then you just get the link and if you 
send the res result requested equal to x then you will get the result as well and apart from that failed and reported message we have to fill so we are looping through this one uh, t table uh, we are grouping by travel id if somebody send multiple travel id multiple travel instances instances we are reading the travel we go once we read the travel uh, we go to the uh, travel data here and once we go to this travel data once we read this travel based on the travel id we have read the travel data what we are doing if it is failed added equal to false if it is not get failed and we, everything goes successful we are looping again and filling the two table associated link and the travel result so it will send back the travel data and this travel data will be used further to e-take comparison currently because e-take dependent by your parent that is the reason so that is the reason we have to read the travel data from the booking and we have to send back and in that way e-take comparison will happen let me activate quickly control f3 control f3 and let me refresh my application and see now it is working or not that uh, update operation so let me refresh again i think after activation we have refreshed it should ideally work now because we are not we are now able to do the et comparison if something goes wrong put each and every method breakpoint and we already know in which sequence it will be called that we already know but in that way we can find what is the issue in between this method and this method issue is coming then this is the issue i get to know because it is calling read by association we didn't implemented the read by association and we are using the e-take so that is the reason this issue is happening so i'm not able to refresh the application let me quickly preview again oh i refreshed but i got the debugger let me do f8 i put one breakpoint here so that is the reason now i think ideally it should come oh again it came here f8 oh it is reading again the data uh, this read call from the travel let me do f8 now terminated let me click on edit button now i will change to the 8 and click on save so again breakpoint triggered i will remove this breakpoint is not needed now F8 and lock also not needed since we are doing update it is locking the data F8 but this is the read by association they have called so, so basically they are reading by from this table key there is the keys are available already so if you open this one let me increase this little bit size so we will be able to see or now it got clear that also I know okay so in this travel ID is there booking ID there and control structure is there so we read the data from the travel and we have passed the data to the uh, associated link table you can see the source and targets structure and we have passed the result as well this travel id detail back so based on this uh, the e-take will be derived with the current e-take value is available this e-take value come from the our transactional buffer and the one e-take value come from the database and they will compare both the things and then further thing will happen let me do f8 so now it called it got called the update method since if update is working now so it will call the update and let me go there and you can see it got successfully updated so let me remove the let me delete also uh, come back one step back and delete this second one and select and click on delete button you want to delete yes i want to delete checkpoint got triggered so again we have already breakpoint on delete so which d which entry you want to delete so this is the travel id and booking id and based on that we are calling this delete method and it is deleting successfully and the deleted buffer table updated after this save sequence will trigger and currently i don't have any breakpoint on save sequence so that is the reason you are not able to see so but if you see the second entry got deleted but third four fifth six still available so this is how delete and update is working as part of this application we didn't create any action but we already created multiple actions in my many scenario but there i didn't explain the flow when the action will trigger how the flow will be like so almost similar flow like we did it an update and delete with little bit modification but i just want to show you guys before ending this video so whenever the action will trigger 
So authorization will be checked, global authorization will be checked and global feature control will be checked. Once it is done, since Axon is doing some modification without going in the editing board, obviously lock will be run. So lock method will be run and then it will proceed for the further. If you have some e-tag implementation, that also will be run and if you are doing some action in that case also you have to implement the read operation that is very important thing in unmanaged scenario so if you have e-tag implementation once the e-tag is done then pre-check implementation from the projection layer pre-check implementation from the interface layer these two things will be done and these are the done then the instance authorization check instance feature control and the at last we will call the action in the action it will call directly modify method for action that will update the transaction buffer transactional buffer it will not save the data in database in this method also you should not write any code which is updating the database some guys what if they think i will click on that button i will call bapi it will save the data in the database is it it is not possible you can't call bapi directly in the action that is the reason i am explaining again just whatever you are calling in the action that should update only transactional buffer or internal tables only whatever you are doing in the action you can't write any create update delete on database table in action method whatever you have to do after the if this action is finished then the save sequence will be triggered from the save sequence they will pick up the data from the transactional buffer and then it will be saved so every time this is the fundamental concept of the unmanaged scenario or many scenario wherever you are working you should not write during the transactional phase anything which updates the database it will not allow you if you are using the strict two if you try to write those kind of things you will get the dump so that is the fundamental again so why i i lot of time i am getting the this kind of required i can i call the bapi in action no you can't call because BAPI is having the update, delete and create operations because it is ultimately updating the database. So those uh, statement will be there de definitely. Even there are no commit work but those statement is there in the BAPI. So you can't call those kind of thing in the during the this method call action. Those you have to do in late save sequence in save method if you have unmanaged scenario. So these are the things you have to make sure. So with that at last we come to the at last for the unmany scenario we have completed in my next video we will start with the draft i know i was very quick in this video because i would have coded each and everything line by line it would have taken lot of time i would have created three four videos extra for each for create one for update one for delete one but i thought why to explain same kind of code again and again ultimately there is a web code only we are calling the function module we are calling that particular function module to do those kind of things so that is a web code you are learning lab wrap so i expect you guys you already know the core ABAP and ABAP object oriented so that was my expectation with that please like this video subscribe this channel write it down in comment section if you feel that I was a little bit fast, I would have explained that also you can write and share these videos wherever the ABAP community is there. With that, thank you and happy learning.